Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, we're going to be talking through a couple player props I like on prize picks for tonight's NBA slate on Friday, uh, January the 19th. We've got, I think, seven games tonight, so it's a decent sized slate for a Friday night. I do have two early player props, guys, that I want to share with you that I do like for this Friday night slate, uh, taking a first look at the board on Thursday night. So um, before we do talk through these two plays, as always, if you guys do enjoy these prize picks videos, if they do help you out, make sure you hit that like button down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you are new to the channel and if you are new to prize picks and if you don't have an account over on prize picks, uh, you can sign up linked down below in the description or just use that promo code NOAH when you do sign up for prize picks and you will get your first deposit matched up to $100. Um, also, do want to shout out Sleeper because we do have a partnership with Sleeper as well. And if you guys don't have an account over on Sleeper, you can download the Sleeper app either on the App Store uh, if you have an and or if you have an iPhone or the Google Play Store if you have an Android. They do have an app for both. Download that Sleeper app, make a deposit, and when you use promo code NOAA over on Sleeper, you'll get your first deposit matched up to five hundred dollars. Now, if you don't know what Sleeper is, uh, they are an app similar to Prize Picks. They're similar to a lot of the DFS pick'em apps you see around the industry. Uh, on Sleeper, you are able to win up to 100x your money. Sleeper does offer a lot of the major sports like NBA, NFL, um, college football, uh, college basketball, uh, you know, MLB, um, NHL. Like All those sports are available over on Sleeper. Um, so if you guys do want to try them out, you do want to see what they have to offer, again, use that promo code NOAA when you sign up and get your first deposit matched up to $500. Uh, now, before we talk through our two picks for Friday's slate, guys, I do want to recap the two plays we gave out in Thursday's video. Uh, so we gave out two picks in Thursday's video. One of them hit, one of them didn't hit. We did hit the over on Xavier Tillman's fantasy score, uh, 27. I think Tillman finished with 29 fantasy points. It was a little bit sweaty, uh, but he was able to go over his fantasy score. Unfortunately, we took the over on Zach Levine's points prop. Uh, Zach Levine, he had eight points in the first half, and then early... Early in the second half, I think like a few minutes into the second half, he got injured. Um, he hurt his ankle. He had to go to the locker room. He did wind up coming back into the game, but he didn't play a ton after he came back from the locker room. He only played like a few minutes, and then he got subbed out, and then he I don't think he ever returned after that. So clearly, you know, clearly after Levine got injured, uh, he wasn't himself. You know, he, he did. I don't even think he played like the final. I don't think he played the final six, seven minutes of the game. Like he wasn't even in the in the closing lineup. So. Obviously, it sucks to lose like that. Um, you know, Levine, he didn't have the greatest first half, but you know, he could have maybe gone over in the second half had he not injured his ankle. Um, but you know, it is what it is, guys. It's been frustrating lately, but we move on to, to Friday's slate, and hopefully today we can hit both these plays for Friday. So let's talk through the two picks I'm liking for this slate. First play I want to take a look at, want to talk about, is going to be Trey Jones' points prop of 13.5. And, and I like the over here for Trey Jones. Now, if you look at Trey Jones' recent games, it doesn't look great. You know, he's had a lot of bad games here um, against, you know, 11 points against uh, Detroit, only six against Charlotte, only, um, you know, six against Atlanta, nine against Boston. But he did have a 30-point game against the Bulls. And I do want to highlight this game because this game was without Victor Wembanyama, And we already know that Wembanyama is not going to play in this game. And if you do look at the splits this season with Wembanyama off the floor, Trey Jones has actually been one of the bigger beneficiaries. His usage rate does, uh, does go up 2.5% with Wimby off the floor, which is the third highest bump on the team. So Jones gets the third highest bump on the team in terms of usage when you take Wimby off the floor. And if you look at his scoring, he has averaged 16.5 points per 36 with Wimby off the floor this season. Whereas um, I think for the full season without, you know, with, if you don't take Wimby off the floor, I think he's averaged like 13.5 points per 36. So he does get a little bit of a scoring bump with Wimby off the floor. And we have seen Wimby, I think Wimby's already missed five games this season. And if you look at the five games Wimby has missed this season, in those five games, Trey Jones put up uh, 10, 14, 9, 14, and 30 points. So he went over this line in three out of five games without Wimby. And if you look at the two games he went under, both games he went under, he was coming off the bench. Obviously, Trey Jones is a starter now, but he was coming off the bench earlier in the season. He came off the bench against the Pelicans, played 23 minutes, had 10 points. And then he came off the bench against Dallas, played 18 minutes, and had 9 points. Uh, but he did go over the other three games. Obviously, he had that huge game against the Bulls where he scored 30 points. I'm pretty sure that was a career high for him. Um, but I definitely think, you know, Trey Jones does get a scoring bump here. Uh, uh, up, you know, more he has more scoring upside when you take 
Wimby off the floor because Wimby is just such a high usage player. The Spurs, I mean, they completely, they run their entire offense through Wimby. So when you take Wimby off the floor, it just allows for all these other guys like Trey Jones and Devin Vassell and, you know, Kelton Johnson. It, take, it allows all these guys to just get more shots up, to be more involved in the offense. And Trey Jones was a huge beneficiary last game that Wimby missed. I think he should be another, you know, he should see a, a big boost here with Wimby off the floor. I like the matchup a lot against Charlotte. It's a you know, team that plays relatively fast. The Hornets this season, their pace has not been as high, but I think it's just because they've played so many games without LaMelo Ball. Well, now with LaMelo Ball back, I think you're going to see the Hornets start to you know, be a fast-paced team again. The Hornets are still a very bad defensive team. They actually have the worst defensive rating in the league so far. So it's a great matchup here for Trey Jones. It should be a competitive game. Um, this is a game that does have a relatively high total as well, 236 and a half total. So a lot of the boxes are checked here for Trey Jones. And again, without Women Yama this season, he has seen a pretty big you know, bump in terms of usage and in terms of his scoring potential. Um, and, you know, now that he's starting and playing you know, 30 minutes a night, I think if we get 30 plus minutes here from Trey Jones, I, I like his chances of scoring 14 points. So that's the first pick I like for tonight. And then the next pick I like is actually going to be a three-pointers made prop. And we're going to look at Grayson Allen, two and a half threes made. And I like the over here for Grayson Allen. So Grayson Allen, you know, he is a player that he does a lot of his scoring from behind the arc. And, you know, if you look at his games lately, so last game against, um, let's see, let's see if I can pull it up. So last game against Sacramento, Grayson Allen obviously had a huge game, made nine threes. He took 17 shots in that game and 14 of the 17 shot attempts he had last game were three point attempts. If you look at the game against Portland where he made four threes, he took six shots in that game. All six shots were from three. Against the Lakers, he shot the ball eight times. Six of those eight shot attempts were from three. Against the Clippers, he shot the ball three times. All three of those shot attempts were threes. And then against Memphis, he shot the ball 15 times. Eight of those 15 shot attempts were threes. So Grayson Allen, I mean, he's taken like half of his shots from three this year, if not probably more than that, if I had to guess. Um, and he's been, you know, throughout his career, he's been a relatively efficient three-point shooter. His minutes have been really secure lately as well. Like, if you look at the minutes for Grayson Allen just over their last five games, 37, um, yeah, 37, 39, 31, 30, 33, and 37. So, you know, last six games, I should say. Even, like, even if you look back farther, like, he's played 30-plus minutes in, in a lot of games this season. Um, and as of late, you know, we've seen the minutes be even higher for Grayson Allen. He's playing really well right now. He's knocking down threes. And I like this matchup a lot for him against the Pelicans. The Pelicans have been a major three-point funnel this season. They actually are giving up the most three-point attempts per game this year. The Pelicans are, and then they're in terms of three-pointers made per game that they've allowed, the Pelicans have allowed the um, ninth most three-pointers made per game. So this Pelicans team giving up a lot of three-point attempts, the most in the league, and they're you know, bottom 10 in terms of three-pointers made allowed. So teams have been able to get up a lot of three-point attempts against this Pelicans team. That sets up very well for Grayson Allen, who has been playing really well lately, been getting up a lot of shots from three. And again, he's typically a high-efficient shooter. Like, if you're going to give me, I don't know, seven, eight three-point attempts for Grayson Allen, I think he's got a pretty good chance of making three of those. And if he continues to play 30-plus minutes a night, I think he's going to have plenty of open looks from three against the team that's given up the most three-point attempts per game this season. Um, and all the sports book that I, uh, sports books that I look at, DK Sportsbook, Pinnacle, they have this prop juiced around minus 130 favoring the over. So early sportsbook odds do like the over on this three-pointers made prop for Grayson Allen. Um, I was also looking at his points prop of uh, 12 and a half. I think there's a pretty good chance if he makes three threes, he also scores 13 points. So if you want to take the over on thir uh, 12 and a half points for Grayson Allen, I I'm fine with that. Um, there's not as much value on this in terms of like sportsbook odds. Like uh, DK Sportsbook actually is slightly favoring the under on this points prop for Grayson Allen, whereas the three-pointers made prop, it's you know heavily favoring the over. It's up to you. I, I think this is fine as well, taking Grayson Allen more than 12.5 points. But for the sake of this video, I'm personally going to be playing Grayson Allen more than 2.5 three-pointers made. Um, but again, I like both those props. I think this is a really good spot for Grayson Allen. Minutes have been trending up. They've been very consistent lately. And this is a guy that, again, you know takes... If he takes, you know, seven, eight shot attempts in this game, I mean, there's a good chance all those shot attempts are going to be three-point attempts because he's just a player that does a lot of his scoring from behind the arc. Um, so, that's, so, so those are the two plays, guys, that I do like for this Friday night slate, kind of given an early preview, a couple props I like taking a first look at the board on Thursday night. Um, and hopefully we can hit both these plays for Friday. As always, I appreciate you guys watching these videos and supporting the Prospects content. Make sure 
You guys hit that like button down below if you did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, if you don't have an account over on PrizePix, sign up, use that promo code NOAH, and you will get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you sign up for PrizePix with my promo code. But good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching as always. Hope you guys enjoy your Friday night and enjoy your weekend. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.